In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a glitter brush and different ways of using it. We're going to start out using a square canvas. And let's set the background of this canvas to some sort of a dark color. And then we're going to create our brush. We go into the brush library, we click on plus. Let's set the stroke path spacing to oh, 30 to 35, 33%. Um, jitter, somewhere between 15 and 25. I'm going to go with 20. Then we're going to go to shape, edit, import, and source library. And what you're looking for in here is the one that's called short hair. And then we just click on done. Let's set the scatter on this to 15% and the rotation to 20%. And then go all the way down to the properties of the brush. I'm going to set the smudge to 25 the maximum size to 400, minimum size to 10. Go to About This Brush and give it a title. I'm going to call it Glitter. And then we're going to create a new reset point. So if we change this brush later, then we can always reset it exactly to here. Different things you want to try is maybe on that shape, uh, do a different scatter, rotation, whatever. Maybe play around with the rendering, the wet mix, play with the color dynamics, whatever it is you want to play with. But you will always be able to get back to this point. We're going to click on Done, and then we're going to create two more layers. Layer 1 is normal. Layer 2, we're going to click the N, and we're going to use that to darken. And Layer 3, we'll click on the N, and we will choose Linear Burn. So on Layer 1, using a light gray color, Swipe that on here. You can be fairly heavy if you like. On layer 2, let's use a middle gray. Remember this is set to darken, so it just kind of creates patches of slightly darker glitters. On layer 3, we're going to use a dark gray and we'll paint some of that on here and there and then we're going to create another layer put it underneath layer one and we're going to fill it with white tap on it fill layer and now let's group these together. If you slide to the right, it will select the groups or the individual layers, which you can then group. Duplicate this group and turn off the one at the bottom. That way you have everything fixed and saved. For new group, well, we're going to flatten this. This is our glitter layer. Let's turn it off for now. Go down here to where it says New Group, and I'm going to Add Text. Click on the wrench, Add Text. Let's move it over here. Let's choose a font. I'll go with Impact. 
and I will type in the word GLITTER in all caps. And then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to change the size of this until it stretches out almost the whole width of our canvas. Have to have everything selected in order to change the size. That's very nice. And I'll click Done. And I will move this down. And now, turn on Layer 4, tap on it, and select Clipping Mask. Let's add another layer with a Clipping Mask. And actually, I'm going to turn that off first, just so you can see what I'm doing. What I'm going to do next is, in my luminescence, I have slid Glimmer over to the left and chosen Duplicate to create this brush with a spacing of 61 and a jitter of 156. Anywhere around there should be good. I'm still on white for the color. I am now on what is now layer 8 for me. And I'm going to just put some different specs on this. Uh, if you press hard, you will get great big wide specs. And if you do soft, you get little specs. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the clipping mask so you can see what that looks like. If you want to color this, create a layer above your glitter layer and change the type to color. And then start choosing some colors. Let's go to our airbrushing, soft brush, 10% uh, and just start coloring these in. Um, let's put some green in here just because we can. And we'll put some purple here. And some orange up here. And some pink down here. Now let's give this brush some shine. I'm going to duplicate that brush. I'm going to use the yellow color. Let's rasterize this first. And let's choose yellow. Tap. Choose Alpha Lock. Tap. Choose Fill Layer. Tap and turn off Alpha Lock. You can also turn Alpha Lock on and off by using two fingers and sliding to the right. You can tell it's on when you see those checks. We're going to have it off because we're now going to blur this. We'll go to the Magic Wand, Gaussian Blur, Layer, and you will go anywhere from 5 to 25 percent depending on what looks best to you. I'm just going to slide it up so it has a little bit of a glow. If you go too much, I think it just overpowers it. So let's just Give it a slight glow. And there you have it. You have a nice glittery text. You can add other objects, any solid object, a silhouette or whatnot, and it will also take on the colors above it if you have it set to this clipping mask. Anyway, I hope this helps you out, and I want you all to have a wonderful day.